Do you regret ordering the painting over of cartoon murals at a facility for unaccompanied migrant children? Well, I've said I wouldn't do that again. But let me explain Hang on, why. That's not her question. Do you regret doing it? Yeah, I've said, I've said that it, it, I regret doing I wouldn't do it again. But... Here's Tory Robert Jenrick answering a question about the time he ordered a mural of cartoon characters painted over at a children's facility for unaccompanied migrants. Let's listen in and see if we believe what he says next. Let, let me explain why. Firstly, I would never do anything to needlessly harm children in our care. It's not the sort of statement you ever want to utter, really. You'd think that it was a given that you had no intention of harming children. And as Immigration Minister, I worked very hard to protect those children who come here unaccompanied. I closed all of the rudimentary hotels in which they were being housed. And I've always cared about us being a big-hearted country. I was the first... You ordered a I was cartoon the, mural was, to me, be painted explain, over. Laura. I was the first Member of Parliament to house Ukrainian refugees in my home when we first started welcoming families from Ukraine. Someone should check to see if they were ever seen again. Now listen how Jenrick uses the word children to go completely off course and pump in a bit of fear and division. But... I did feel very strongly then, and do so now, that it is very concerning that there are adults coming into our country, posing as children, putting genuine children at great risk. And let me give you an example of one of the things that happened as a result of that. Now we have to worry if children are children. Now listen to this. And by the way, the boy he talks of was an 18-year-old posing as a 14-year-old. A man who turned out to be a serial killer came into our country, posed as a child, lived amongst young people in the loving care of foster carers, went to a school in the UK, went on to kill somebody on the streets of Bournemouth. Sadly, these things are happening, not in huge numbers, but they are happening across our country. And it is right that when people first arrive in the UK, they are subject to checks in a law enforcement environment. And that was the point. We needed to ensure that was happening and you weed out the adults who are posing as children, to protect the actual children. I think that was the right decision. Click here to find out if Robert Jenrick is evil.